Are you juggling multiple AI subscriptions just to create your designs? Maybe one of them's for great text or typography and another for photorealism and paying for all of them while you're jumping between different tabs or softwares, trying to find what works best. What if the best, most powerful image generation models were available in one place? Well, that's Dream AI and it's available in my designs right now. Today, I'm showing you how to harness the power of five cutting edge AI models. I'm going to show you how to scale a single great idea into potentially hundreds of unique high quality designs incredibly fast let's get started okay let's create some designs and scale those out so I'm over in dream AI in my designs as you can see here I'm gonna click into dream AI and I already had some previous generations here that's why it's loaded if you're new it'll probably be blank but I'm gonna explain how this works. I'm gonna close the side menu so we have more space. And from here at the top in Dream AI, you have mode. Text to image is the most popular, meaning you just give a model a text prompt and generate an image as you can see here. So in this particular case where I got born and raised in Arizona, there's a, the prompt here, and then I have the Flux One Context Pro model selected, which is a new fantastic model. And you see I'm generating two images and a one-one aspect ratio. Now I can either make that private or public. If you make it public, it ends up in the public gallery, which is a public gallery of other generations from other users. So you can find prompts, etc. but you do save 30% on the credit cost when you do that. It's not required, you can always keep it private and use it totally for yourself, but it's another feature that's nice, especially when you're experimenting. Now let's get into the fun part. So I'm gonna go over to the public gallery and show you how I kind of found this prompt. I adjusted a little bit, let me show you how I found it. So you go to public gallery. This is us, this is our Dream AI gallery. You can run searches, you can look at through different categories, you can look at most likes, most views, uh, favorites, and from here you can basically just find a image and click into it to see the prompt and the model, etc. that were used. So let's go to my favorites real quick. Uh, I'm going to go into this born and raised in Texas. This is the one I found earlier that I'm adjusting and trying. So I looked at the prompt here, I adjusted it slightly, but basically you can see they use the Flux 1.1 Pro model style, none, et cetera. So I can just copy this prompt and then go back over to Dream AI. That's what we're gonna do next. So now that I got the prompt, you, again, you can choose from some of the best models in the world right here in Dream AI. So the recommended models that you see at the top here, there's Ideogram version three, Ideogram version 2A, Imagine 4, which is fantastic, Recraft version three, Flux One Context Pro and Flux One Context Max. Of course, Flux 1.1 Pro Ultra, GPT Image One from OpenAI and then Dolly 3 from OpenAI. And we have legacy models too. So if you click down here, you have a bunch of the older models that are also fantastic that you can choose from. But in this case, I'm gonna just focus on five of my favorites and show you how to scale designs quickly. So let's get started. So I have my prompt here, right? I tested it to make sure the results were good. So what I can do is take this prompt, copy it. I'm gonna start with Flux One Context Pro. And now I'm actually gonna go over to the My Designs GPT and Chat GPT. This will actually be available in Dream AI soon. I'm gonna say scale this prompt to the top um, six states. Let's say most populated. Top six most populated states in the USA. So I'm gonna add a space there and give it this prompt. And what I love about this GPT is it analyzes the prompt and adjusts the state. It'll adjust other details if needed. As you can see, if you read the full prompt, the design promptly features black vintage text born and raised in at the top followed by Arizona at the bottom. In the center, there's a shape of the state, Arizona, and the colors of the Arizona flag, isolated on white background. So if you look at these other prompts are scaled out, we got California first, and again, it's gonna adjust it to the state, California state flag, and it's gonna do that for all these, Texas, Florida, New York, Pennsylvania, Illinois. So I'm gonna copy these, just the prompts. You can see I asked for five. Now you can do much more than this. I'm just keeping this shorter for this example. I'm gonna copy that. It's formatted perfectly for Dream AI, so if I go back to Dream AI, down under parallel prompts, you wanna turn this on. I'm gonna control A into this field and delete that, and then just control V to paste. And now you can see that everywhere you have a line break, it treats that as a new prompt. So for this Flux One Context Pro model, we're gonna go with two images, one, one aspect ratio. And now we're generating two uh, images per prompt, so that's gonna be 10 images. I can just, I'm gonna make these public so you can find them too in the Dream Gallery. I'll hit Dream, and now that is populating. You see we got five different generations of two images each for each of these states. And you can see that won't take long. So there we go, born and raised in New York, born and raised in Pennsylvania, born and raised in Florida, born and raised in Texas, and some of these look really good. Born and raised in California, and born and raised in Illinois. Occasionally you're gonna get this, uh, where it gets misspelled. But what I wanted to show you in this video, first how to scale, which we just showed you, 
Now I wanna show you what it looks like with other models and just how easy this is. So you don't have to juggle all these different subscriptions. You can do everything from my designs and plug it right into your print on demand or digital products workflow. So let's go back up. Uh, now that we did Flux One Context Pro, let's do Ideogram version three. I'm gonna change this style to design. I'm gonna leave everything else the same, parallel prompts. Let's just go paste that in here again. Again, I'm gonna make everything public. This time I'm doing a three, four aspect ratio, which I think is good for Ideogram, especially for t-shirts. So we'll let that run. So there you go. Now we got Ideogram version three running. And while that's going, I'm just gonna go ahead and just do a couple of the other popular ones. Go Imagine Four here. Again, paste that in to make sure we get the full, make all these public so you guys can find them in the Dream Gallery. So now that's running. And while Imagine Four is going, let's just try uh, GPT Image One Edit. This is from OpenAI. Go high quality. This one takes longer. It's a lot more expensive. You can see how expensive that is. But I do wanna at least show you, oops, I went at the two, three aspect ratio, but that should be fine. And of course, there's the Flux One Context, but we'll go Flux One uh, Pro Ultra and try that as well. Again, everything's parallel here. So that's a lot of designs that we have all queued up there. So let's move to the top and see all these different generations. Yeah, so I think this is the longer, some of these failed, not sure why. It might be the um, GPT-1 image edit, but let's uh, go to the top here and see what this one is. So this one's Flux 1.1 Pro Ultra, born and raised in California. It looks pretty good. What's good about this is it's it's 2000 pixels, by 2000 pixels basically. Born and raised in Illinois, and you look at this Florida. Some of these aren't the greatest, but I wanted to show you quickly how good that you can do this and how fast you can scale these. So this is the GPT image one, that's probably gonna take a minute. In fact, one of these are done. Actually looks pretty good. Uh, yeah, these ones actually turned out pretty well. So let's keep going. Uh, this is Imagine 4 from Google. I love this model. It's really good. Born and raised in Texas. It just follows your prompt incredibly well. Uh, let's keep going. So you can see here we got so many designs. And if you, this is Ideogram version 3. Does a really good job with typography most of the time. But that's a very simple idea on how you can scale. I'm just using a simple example there. Now let's do one more. And I won't do all the models. We'll just probably do one Flex 1 Context Pro. But I'm going to go back to um, my favorites because I favored it. So someone did this prompt earlier and it was public. I wanted to try that with the new model because they're using Dolly 3, but I want to try the new Flux Context Pro model. So I'm gonna copy prompt. Let's go over to ChatGPT. I'm gonna scale it now. Let's say scale this prompt to the top 10 most popular dog breeds. Now, now we're doing 10 and we're gonna leave it at two images each. So that'd be 20 images we can generate in mere seconds. So it shouldn't take too long. It's searching the web in this case, which is great. It's probably looking for more updated information. As you can see here of the top dogs, French Bulldog, Labrador Retriever, Golden Retriever, etc. And now we got our prompts here. So let's go ahead and copy these. Go back to Dream AI. I'm gonna change this back to Flux One Context Pro. I'm gonna paste that in, parallel prompts on, of course. And you can see the credits here. Let's make that public so you can see these. And let's run this particular prompt because it has a lot more detail than just these state related designs. I'm going to go to the top here. It's a lot of designs we generated. <laughs> so these are already wrapping up pretty fast. So life is better with a Deschund and that looks amazing. Those details are awesome. Yeah, these are great with this model. This Flux 1.2 or this uh, Flux 1 Context Pro model with this particular style is, yeah, that's crushing it. The GSP. Is it golden? Yeah, look at this one. Life is better at the Beagle. But you can see how fast and how, e how easy we created these. So from this point, I can just grab the designs that I really like the most. Um, I'm just gonna show you an example. Just grabbing a few random ones here. And I could either download as a zip, and just download it right to my computer, or I could save it to my listings page and remove backgrounds, upscale, etc. But I'm just gonna save it as is to show you. That'll save it over to one of my folders, as you can see here. Now from here, I can remove the backgrounds, upscale these images, and then go publish them as digital products or print-on-demand products right through my designs. And even utilizing the new print-on-demand uh, fulfillment feature we have, where you can integrate your Printify account to automate print-on-demand products through Etsy, Shopify, etc., through your favorite printer on Printify. But that's it for this video. If you have questions, let me know by leaving a comment below. Really excited for you to jump into Dream AI and really utilize all of the best image generation models in the world right from one platform, which is my designs. So if you have questions again, leave a comment. I will leave a link to the My Designs GPT for scaling your prompts. And of course, to My Designs in the description of this video. But that's it, cheers.